There we go. All right. Well, good evening, everyone. Uh, today is Thursday, May 10th, 2018. That's 7 o'clock in the Town Hall, and this is the Board of Selectmen meeting. Uh, first up on our agenda is a request from James Riseborough for approval to build three musical instruments for kids to play with in the town common and acceptance of the proposed instruments as a gift. Yeah, so, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. Stay on one side. Nice to see you. Good to see you. Thanks. Good to meet you. Thanks, man. So, I have some pictures here for all of you. I a little presentation set up. Okay, great. Yeah. So these are just some drawings of okay. uh, what the toys would be. Which would you like this presentation set up this way? Facing I saw it. No, this is fine. Oh, this is fine. Oh, there's one. Oh, it's a Oh, it's a Oh, it's a um, to start with the purpose of the Eagle Project, it's um, to add to the town common and give the kids something to play with. Mm -hmm. um, I've had multiple oh. discussions with Ms. Shepke about this, and she already actually had this concept in mind of, she has a little woods area right behind the parking lot, and she would like to add in something for the kids to play with. So I, my uh, father and I designed these musical instruments that will be kind of integrated in with the scenery. Cool. And, um, so to start, we have kind of a xylophone idea here, mm -hmm. you guys all have. Uh, it'll be made out of aluminum, and then the tiles themselves will be made out of aluminum as well, or wood. And then there will just be a stick attached by some wire so that no one can run off with the sticks. And then just, there'll be either a different length, width, or thickness to make a different sound. So that's the main xylophone concept of the first one there. Cool. Second one is some corrugated tubing of different length and circumferences mm -hmm. and the uh, spacing between the the ridges to be different. Then there will be aluminum again, corrugated tubing, then mm -hmm. the, an aluminum uh, stick attached by wire again. So when you run it up and down the tubing, it'll make a different type of sound. Mm -hmm. That and uh, it's like a washboard. Yeah, yeah, it's like a, a washboard. And then the, the last one, the kind of J instruments there, it's made out of Aluminum frame, again, it'll mm -hmm. be aluminum for all of them. And then PVC piping. And there will be a stick with some heavy duty foam mm -hmm. attached to it so that you can hit at the bottom of the JPs and the sound will come out the top. Cool. And then it'll be different circumferences and length as well to make different sounds out of it. Cool. So the idea is that it'll just be something that the kids can play with uh, and have fun with. It'll be um, deeper into the, the woods so that it's not, you know, interrupting anything else going on in the town mm -hmm. common. So we've already discussed placement for these as well. And Super. Right. Well, that's great. Good. Um, as far as uh, budget, we're estimating around 2000 to $2,500 in supplies. Um, my father owns, um, I don't know if anyone's familiar with my father, James mm -hmm. Rosberg, he owns Federal Transit, um, was local in Lancaster down Hudson. So he does a lot of work with like cars and automobiles. So as far as getting these supplies, mm -hmm. it'll be easy. Um, they're probably already, we probably already have them anyways. Okay. And then um, I'm estimating two to three weekends with the troop and the uh, Eagle project party <coughs> mm -hmm. to have it installed. Super. And it should be finished after that. Great. That looks great. great. Yeah. Uh, James, James met with Linda and, and me a week or two ago and uh, really excited about this. I think it's a great, uh, great opportunity. I think it's great that he's taking the time to do it. Thank you. Yeah, yeah no, it's, it's, it's certainly a little bit different. Very creative. Good, thank you. Turbo Transit's like the LL Bean boot car. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Monster. Monster's out of common. Yeah. 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 And of course, the turtle. And the turtle. And the turtle. And the turtle. <laughs> the turtle. So that is, that is the project. So now I believe I need um, some type of approval. Or maybe I think I need to offer it as well. Make an offer. Well, it, it's already been presented as a gift to the okay. town. So the yeah. Board of Selectmen need to vote to accept the uh, gift. Mm -hmm. And, and to approve the project. Okay, well, I will, uh, I'll take a motion to uh, approve the project and to accept the bill. So moved. Second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Great. Thank, Great. Thank you so very much. much. When do you think you'll be able to get started? Um, as soon as possible, I'm going to guess with um, that, since everything will be made at my dad's shop in preparation, cutting and welding, um, it's pretty busy with work right now, so I'm going to estimate about a, a month out. Mm -hmm. And then um, I need to get it done before. The goal is to have it done before summer because my summer is, gets taken up by uh, other activities. So. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Yes. So I'm Laura Roberts I, okay. from the Parks and Recreation Commission. Um, I just wanted to to speak just because I'm uncertain why the Parks and Recreation Commission is continually being sort of passed over in situations like this. This is not about you. I think okay. this is um, something that we certainly would be interested in hearing about and um, helping to facilitate. Uh, we're a commission elected by the people of Bolton to oversee the parks and um, the properties in our town and the town common is our new park and we are concerned that continually we're seeing items related to it on the selectmen's agenda and they're not coming to the Parks and Recreation Commission. So I just want to figure out if maybe at a future meeting we can discuss this further to figure out what the process is for the town common and how um, if the Parks and Recreation Commission is being sort of left out of the loop or no longer necessary with regards to it or um, or how we can start to lead these types of projects. Well, I, I think certainly we can certainly have that, that discussion, but I think you, you might ne might not necessarily have an accurate portrayal of what the Parks and Rec Commission does versus the town common and all of the other so-called parks or town property. And you have responsibility in terms of, of managing those from, from a scheduling standpoint and, and events and those kinds of things. But your purview is not to decide exactly what happens on those properties. They're town properties. Um, so, so I think we will certainly be happy to have a discussion since it's not on the agenda for tonight to do that. But I think you, the Park and Rec and, and us should, should, dis, should talk where the delineation of the responsibilities are. Because this is not something that Park and Rec would take a, a, a lead on. You know, the town common, yes, you manage the scheduling of the property, of events and everything else, but it is a town property of which you don't necessarily have the purview or control to decide what, what happens in terms of adding structures, planting trees, this type of stuff. And if I may, Mr. Chairman, by statute, the Board of Selectmen and only the Board of Selectmen are authorized to accept the gift. Correct. So I, I think that there might be a, a slight misconception as to where where your responsibility ends and the selectmen's begins, and we can certainly have that discussion. Yeah, I think we should have the discussion. I mean, I think <clears throat> the town common is, you know, is is uh, I think is a little bit different because of the way um, you know it was funded. You know, the cleanup was funded, uh, the involvement of the trust and I guess their ongoing role. Mm -hmm. um, so, so it would be good to kind of uh, clarify that uh, going forward. And we can put that on the agenda for the next meeting. Sure. Joe? I'm just wondering, uh, Laura, would you feel better if you were just <coughs> notified that this item was coming up? We were notified. Well, you were. Oh, here. Um, but oh. I'm just, I mean, if we, if we are, upgrading a swing at the memorial field is that something that we should bring before you if we are putting a new bench at pound park is that something that needs to come before you the brownie troop has built um flower boxes at pond park in previous years and i don't believe that was something that the selectmen approved prior to happening a new volleyball net is needed at memorial field if we purchase and that item, it doesn't need to come before you. No, I don't, I don't think so. But no, but, but again, but, that's for the next meeting. But that's for the next meeting to discuss. So that's we'll we'll, we'll table that for the next meeting. Yeah, I, I I don't understand the delineation here, and I certainly don't understand why the prior history of the town common would affect the relationship among the the various elected officials in Bolton. So I would look forward to this next yeah, let's conversation. Have it. Let's, yeah, because we're, we're starting to discuss it and we really shouldn't it's not on the agenda. Okay. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. Good, good luck, much. and uh, we'll look forward to uh, seeing all the stuff. We'll be out there banging. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 One for your select man. Yeah. 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 We'll do our blue yeah. man group imitation. Yeah. And oh, yeah. That'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly I can sing a cappella. Mr. Story. Yeah. So on this conversation you were just having, this is a good <clears throat> good opportunity for me to bring this up. Um, and I had been intending to bring it to both of you. Um, 
The Bolton Youth Baseball has previously done quite a few upgrades on Memorial Fields. Um, when we did the big dugouts, obviously we came to the Board of Selectmen and got your approval. Um, last year we did some, what I would call, fence improvements to create um, <laughs> covered dugouts at the backfield. I don't know if any of you have noticed that, but we now have that so the players can be undercover if it rains or out of the sun or whatever. And it really is extra fencing and a tarp that we put on in the warm months and we take off in the um, cold months. And that's something we did run by Park and Rec and, and, and discuss that. Um, technically, it's an improvement to the field. I mean, it's owned by the town. Once we do it, it's owned by the town. But I didn't come to the selectmen for that one. Um, I do intend to do the same thing at the Babe Ruth field this year. Mm -hmm. So I, was, um, I, will, I will follow up an email to both the Board of Selectmen and Park and Rec. Um, again, I would call this fence improvements as opposed to, you know, some kind of permanent structure. <laughs> so I don't, in my mind, I didn't think it needed, you know, necessarily complete vetting, but I make sure I'll make everyone just aware let, of that. Just let us know. I mean, if, if it's, you know, doing improvements, I would say, you know. Just yeah, it's just, it's just to give cover to the players. Yeah. We yeah. have them on all the three other fields, and we don't have it on the fourth field. Um, and, and that was kind of one of my goals when I got involved with the baseball, right. is to get that on all four yeah. fields. So. Uh, we'll we'll have it, we'll have a further discussion in the next week. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Good. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good night, everyone. All right. Next up okay. is uh, the post annual town meeting review. We got through it in one night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my God. coughs> yes. Yes. So yeah. I thought that was a good thing. I thought so too, and then certainly, you know, uh, I found it interesting that you know, the majority of people said yes, they wanted to continue. But and and say, I mean, yeah. we had, we, I that would was... say we had 150 people that said. Yeah. So I mean, I wouldn't pull anyone's, you know, arms to do that if, if the, you know, if it was a majority that said no, let's come back the second night. I would certainly yeah. defer to the judgment of the meeting, right? Mm -hmm. But once, as as you said, Bob, once you know the majority of people said yeah, let's keep going. I was fine with it. Yep. Yeah. So, well, once we got past Article 16, it was fairly smooth so Yeah, there's still some debate, though. <laughs> <laughs> I was amazed at the I, debate between 11 and 12. I, I don't want to miss the opportunity to uh, let everyone know that BATCO provided the new, the new microphones, which worked perfectly yes, during the night. And I, I think compared to last year's annual town meeting, I think there was a lot less tension in the air because people could were, were, were sure that they could get their uh, opinions expressed and not be uh, have, have their voice dropped out. So, uh, you know, let's appreciate yeah. BATCO for, for solving that, figuring out what the issue was and, and coming up with a resolution. Yeah, I mean, they actually purchased the microphone. Right. So, yeah. I mean, that was an expenditure. It was a frequency thing, right? I mean, it was for the frequency with those old mics. There was a conflict with, with cell phones. Cell phones, it just yeah. was yeah. like this constant. Mm -hmm. But to my knowledge, they worked oh, yeah. extremely well. Yes, yeah. they really did. Um, it was definitely a big improvement, I agree with you, folks. Yeah. I think it was, I mean, you had the usual debate. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking you never expected it would be on. <laughs> no, 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 no. I think though, uh, you know, maybe I think we should we should strive to make sure that we provide as crystal clear um, an explanation in the summary. I think there was a bit of confusion on based on the lowering of the speed limit ones. You know, lessons learned. Um, I mean, that was not a, those were not articles that, that we sponsored. But um, you know, I think you know, I, I think we should err on the side of providing more than less information. Mm -hmm. um, so just to you know, if we can if we can have it so that we s cut debate short because people fully understand it, just we'll, we'll get to the end a little bit faster. So. Yes, Eric. Uh, Eric Neal on Bear Hill Road. Um, I think despite I was one of the one people who voted to stay because I didn't want to get down in one night, but I think uh, I think what we need to maybe potentially have is a town meeting study committee formed and create a poll to see um, how we can get the most people there because there were still some people that 
you know, Monday night versus Saturday. I know we've talked about Saturday in the past, but I think we haven't done it in a while. So I think it would be a good opportunity to um, create a study committee that could look at times and, and days and see if there was something that worked better for a majority of people. Also, at 10 o'clock, voting to uh, you know stay or not, you kind of already have like the night owls there, and they're like, well, let's just finish it. I think potentially maybe you have to you know say, well, at 10 o'clock, we're going to cut it out, no matter where you are, because if you don't do that, once you get to 10 o'clock, people are going to be like, well, I'm here now, let's just stay, and then we ended up being there to midnight, which again, personally, I didn't mind. I was happy to get it done, but you know, with babysitting and stuff like that, there were just people that would have probably have loved to vote on the last article, but just couldn't. So um, I think it would be a good opportunity to uh, maybe create a study group that I know um, Kate Boy actually started drafting like a poll, uh, a poll. But I think it would be good to create a, a group that could go to the selectmen and draft the poll and conduct that, and then talk to you guys and see if uh, you know there was enough. You know, Harvard does theirs on Saturday, but then people have sports and stuff. So you know, it would be good to see what the town thinks. The other thing that this group could look at is electronic um, electronic devices for counting votes. Um, I know a bunch of other towns are doing that. I know it's like about 20 grand, so I don't know if we want to spend the money or not. But <laughs> but it might Actually, be worth. I mean, I mean, I mean, that could save a half an hour right there, or more, depending on what's happening. So I, I think that's something we could look at. I know. I think it was. Uh, I read Westboro potentially. They just actually had a demo of um, one of the electronic counting, and it was a free demo. Pretty much the company brought it in so they could try it out for the year and try, you know, try it. So that's something that that, stu that town meeting study committee could engage some company to come in and try that out. So I think it would just be a good exercise to get, uh, to take a look at if the time, you know, because I know there's people, you know, it just doesn't work out and, you know, you have a lot of people with young kids that, you know, maybe only one parent could come or, you know, or they'd like to come but their babysitting ends at 9 or 10, so they can't stay for the article they want to stay. So maybe you say there's a cutoff. I, I just think it's a good opportunity to potentially look at it. Look at it at Mr. Overall. Chairman, if I, if I may, to that end, Eric, um, and Pam and I have already talked about this, we'll be getting up on the, web, the town webpage early next week um, the mass general laws that pertain to town meeting because there's some misconceptions about out there about some things that can and can't be done. Um, the changing our bylaw because right now the town meeting date is set by right. bylaw, so we need to change our bylaw well, yeah, so to, this to, to go to a Saturday, mm -hmm. which is a totally, totally reasonable thing to yeah. talk about. Uh, and electronic voting is another viable option. Of, as, of course, it costs money, but yeah. uh, you know, to be able to look at that to try to expedite things. Um, what we can't do is have remote voting. Oh, of course. That's part. Well, not of course. There are people who think we should. Well, so actually, Kate Boyack uh, actually drafted one that I read, and she specifically put in there, this is not to change the format of uh, of it. It's just to just to look at days and time. Right, and I understand that. Yeah. And I know Kate's yeah. not doing that. I'm not yeah. talking about yeah. Kate. But there are, there's a school of thought out there yeah. that, that right. you should be able to not have to attend town meeting yeah. to vote, that, yeah. you, that it should last for days. You know, the voting one yeah. you want. You can't do that. Yeah. I mean. New England town meeting is yeah. uniquely Agreed. New England, and that's you know, not this at all. The whole thing is for the democracy in action for people yeah. to show up. It's like legislation meeting, yeah. exactly. Yeah, but there are some very viable alternatives, such yeah. as Saturdays and yeah. such as electronic voting. That or, can be or like a cutoff, like the 10 p.m. cutoff, where you automatically go to the next day. I mean, that's not changing the format mm -hmm. of of how it works, and and that was her intent completely. It's just mm -hmm. to. To, to have a better definition of how it will work. So you can say to the babysitter, I'm going to be home at 10, mm -hmm. you know, no matter what. Yeah, I, I mean, I was watching there were four parents with kids and baby <coughs> Dior and sort of like walking in the back hall. And I was just like, oh, feeling bad for them. And it, as the meeting went on. And maybe, maybe in the end, it ends up being Monday night at 7, you know, and it is what it is, but I think it's a good opportunity. No, I, I, I think it's fine to, to, to you know, poll the people. I, I think, you know, you're, what you're going to find is, you know, there'll be a whole bunch of people who like it the way it is on, on a weekday. Yeah. There are going to be maybe an equal number of people who want it on a Saturday, you know, yeah. and, and, you know, yeah. unfortunately you can't satisfy everyone. When we put the document up next week, it will outline exactly what is allowed and not allowed and what is allowed based upon our population size versus one that's larger versus what one is a city. So it clearly delineates. And to Don's point, there's been a lot of discussion about 
all kinds of things which you just the state just does not allow right. at all. But I also have to say is is that for an annual town meeting, right now people know exactly when this town meeting is going to occur yeah, a year from now. Yeah. So they can prepare themselves if they really want to attend to, to make whatever arrangements they need, and they have 364 days to do it. So, you know. Uh, you know, we certainly want to be accommodating to everybody, but I think at the end of the day, you're going to have a whole bunch of uh, uh, camps who want it on an right. evening and the camps who want it on yeah. a Saturday. Yeah. I mean, I think probably, the, I mean, personally, my opinion would be to have it on that first Monday in May, but have a cutoff time of about 10, you know, and then it just goes to Tuesday. Because, you know, there's no telling when you vote at 10 that you're going to be there to 10. I was like, I was looking, I was like, oh, we'll be out of here by 10 30. But we ended up being out here at midnight. Oh, no, I had no, I, I had no expectation that we were going to be out of town. Great. So, first of all, I don't know if you've seen it, Don, but I posted a bunch of stuff on the town website under the moderator's page. No, I haven't seen Including the Mass General Law, including our bylaws, including norms and regulations for, uh, or, or, or procedures for town. Right. So there was nothing on there before, right? Right. I, when did you post it? I probably posted them about three months ago. Or, I don't know. Do you remember? Yeah, it was a while. I mean, yeah, you did a good because job. Maybe what we need to do is maybe a notification that went out? Because no. I'm not necessarily, that's all I need. No. That's all so, so I became moderator yeah. last year. Sorry. Um, no, it's okay. And, and my first meeting was in the fall. Um, I attended the Mass Moderators annual meeting in the fall and got a lot of good feedback and input from other moderators around the state and I belong to the listserv for moderators and there's a tremendous amount of valuable information that's shared among how other towns do, do you know, how each town does things and learns and handling of certain situations. Right. And as a result of that meeting that I went to, I think in November, I, I realized we needed to have information on our website and I posted it. And you're right, I did not in any way notify anyone that I did it, but I, but I did put it up there. A okay. um, Couple of things. Um, many towns have many nights. Many towns have many nights scheduled. A um, couple of towns have four nights scheduled. <laughs> um, and on one night they do the school, and on one night they do the town, and on another night. So they have chosen to make it a week-long affair. I think that is kind of unnecessary, um, my opinion. Um, and I also would think it would be unnecessary to have a cutoff time. I think we'd be put, putting ourselves in a situation where we'd be locking ourselves into, you know, yep. either rushing through it, or guaranteeing that we'll do two night two nights every year. Right. Bolton has a long tradition. I I know that in twenty three years of going to town meetings here, I can only think of a couple times we've gone to a second night. I mean we, we we're pretty good at getting it done in one night. Yeah. And I I kinda like that. I'm kinda proud of that. Yeah. I mean and, and I would like to continue that. Let me finish please. Yeah. Um you know, I'm that's only one opinion, but that's that's where I stand on yeah. it. Um we could start earlier, or we could do a different night. I mean, it, 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 I, I think to your point, Stan, you'd find a certain number of people that would like to do it on the weekend and a certain number of people that wouldn't like to do it on the weekend. <coughs> In reality, when we get, how many did we have? 315. 315? Registered, signed in, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Um, not quite 10%, but close. That's a pretty good turnout for Bolton. Mm -hmm. um, there have been many years when we didn't have any issues when we were struggling to get quorum, exactly. or we had 100, right. Right? right? And those 100 people decided for the rest of the town what we were gonna do that year. So uh, I think 300 is a good number. Um, and always the body has the right to adjourn. I would always ask the body if they want to adjourn. Um, I asked at quarter of 11. I wouldn't have a problem with asking at 10.30 or something like that. If people thought there was another time that was more appropriate. Um, but if the body decides to continue, then we should continue. Mm -hmm. And the fact that some people have to go home or the fact that some people didn't come because that day didn't work out for them, that, as you said, Don, I mean, that's, you know, representative mm -hmm. democracy. Um, so I like, I like the way we do it. I think it works well. Um, and, uh, I do think we need to get as much information in people's mm -hmm. hands so they're well informed yep. 
and they understand the process. I thought basically the process went well. I would say I would say I have two things that I I thought afterwards um, that that could be done differently, and a lot of it is just my inexperience. Um, number one. Um, and, and Eric, I asked you to do this, so I put it all on me. I said, stand up and answer questions. But, but when, the, when the proponent of the article stands there and everybody makes comments, there's a natural tendency and a sense of, I have to answer everything that everybody says. And that's really not how it's supposed to work. People should get their two minutes to make their point or ask their question. There should not be a back and forth between people at the microphone and in your case, you know, and that was my fault. Yeah. So I didn't right. nip that in the bud, and I will be more assertive at that in the future. Right, because it was almost like a, a personal tool. Yeah, because right. that is not the yeah. time to hold no. the hearing or the meeting over the <laughs> article. It's the time to ask a specific right. question or to clarify a specific well, point or to make a, you know, make your opinion. But if somebody's saying something false that sure. hurts or incorrect, and or you, can, incorrect. You, you have every right to respond. Yeah. To I everyone. mean, I'm trying to get the but, but right file out of pass. And having been in the same wrong. position you were in many times in the yeah. past, yeah. if you sit down, you'd be surprised. There won't be quite as many questions directly to you. And that, as I said, that was my fault. There won't be the I, I fishing questions. I asked you to do that. So right. that, that's one thing I would change. The other thing is that um, after reflection, I thought it'd be easier to go yes and no, but I'll go back to I and A. Whichever you want to do first. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah. So many chips. Yeah. I think also the the standing up potentially causes you to potentially get off topic. You know, and, and you know you you're addressing this, and then it's, the conversation starts to wander, and it becomes not only off topic, but it's, it becomes a conversation between you and me as opposed to the issue. And the, the article. So, other towns. Another thing. Other towns too is they don't. Nobody seconds. So they just eliminated seconding. In, in some cases, they've eliminated motions. They've just said it's assumed that the hearings have been held and there's a motion and there's a second. I don't think I would want to do that. I like the way to do it. I don't think it takes that much time. No. no. So, but they. You know, there's all these different things that people yeah. do to try and you know cut a few seconds out here and there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, saying all that, I still don't think, I actually prefer it on Monday night and go until it's done too. I mean, just because I can do it and whatever. I mean, it works for me. I'm just saying it doesn't hurt to look at it. No, not at all. Yeah. I'm not saying don't look yeah. at it. No, I'm just no, I, giving I, my opinion. I, no, I don't get to give it very often. Yeah, absolutely, but the history of the town, it, yeah. it's, it's, it's been on a Monday, it's been at 7 o'clock, yeah. and people know that, you know, with, with 28, 29 articles, 30 articles, it's not going to be over at 9 o'clock. I mean, I think, you know, people should understand that by now, and they should prepare accordingly, you know. And, and the same thing for a Saturday. I mean, you know, if we start the meeting at 9 o'clock and they've got a 12 o'clock, you know, kids softball team, right. you know, it may run until 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So you have the same problem. I think Harvard's took like a lunch, like a lunch break. Right? They do. They take a lunch break. Yeah. 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 No catered lunches. No yeah. catered lunches. That would have been nice. And they take a lunch break. Not six hours. Don, is there uh, is there anything available that we could put on the website or have the website refer to that? At a high level, at least, goes over the difference between a town meeting and uh, let's say. Uh, Town government versus the uh, city government. Oh, sure. it's in the document. It's in the document. Yeah. That because uh, I think part of the issue here is there's been a lot of people moving to town and they're right. just they not familiar yeah. with yeah. what it means to have a town form of government. Mm -hmm. Right. And what they, may, they may be expecting it to be more like a city or a city council, mm -hmm. of which we right. are not. Right. And we can certainly we can definitely look, look at the moderator's page. page. It's already yeah. there. It, it's okay. already there. Right. It's, it's, it's in that. I wish we had all known the moderator. Yeah, I have a suggestion, because yeah, <laughs> yeah, Doug's got all this stuff buried on moderator page, which people aren't going to think to go to, and I have stuff you know, buried on the town clerk page. I think what we might want to do is have a separate town, town meeting, page? Town meeting sure. yes. mm -hmm. and yeah, have sure. all that information That's from very good all our vantage points. Right. And send that out a little blast. Yeah. 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 And then we'll yeah. put that and shoot yeah. them to yeah. there. Yeah. The other thing is, you know, we had that meeting one week before that was largely yeah. to kind of do a dry run through on the numbers, but, you know, that was a pretty good meeting. And if that was, you know, maybe advertised a little 
more excessively and we had planned it earlier, which we didn't of course, <coughs> um, maybe some people would come and they'd have an opportunity to ask some questions there that, that might get answered ahead of the time. When we, when we started that, it was in Richard's first year, so it'll be two years ago, um, what we've learned is that so far, Almost nobody comes to that meeting, but it's heavily watched. It appears to be heavily watched on replay from back home. Um, and I think since, since, and that was totally, totally Richard's idea. Um, I think since we started doing that, the budget has gone much more smoothly. We've gotten far fewer questions on the budget. I think advisory also does, uh, has done for years, a very good job about you know, making sure that, you know, all the information is out for people. But it just feels like that particular night, since we've done that, we've had a lot fewer questions. And for the past two years, we've had no budget questions. Yeah. And, uh, and I think yeah. that's going to be at least part, partly attributed to mm -hmm. the moderator organizing that night. So did he start that after the town meeting when the budget wasn't approved? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. That, was, that was the end of this. Good. Another thing on your, like, I know people said, oh, it would have been nice if the planning board talked about the articles before I'm like, well, we had an information <laughs> session earlier. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, so on that same town meeting yeah. link, if you could have links to the, the videos of, you know, the information sessions yeah. all in one spot so people could just click yeah, in one spot. Yeah, and there's you know? meetings, there's advisory meetings yeah. for four months ahead of yeah. time. Oh, there's weeks. planning board meetings oh, for right. weeks uh, and weeks. If it, was just, if it was just categorized better and... Yeah presented better on the town we'll website, that. maybe yep. that would help. Yeah, we're going to repackage it, yeah. Yep. But I, 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 you know, I'd, I'd welcome the committee, subcommittee, you know, looking into best practices for a town meeting and yeah, doing, well, a, doing a survey. I don't know, I think it was Harvard who just talked about electronic, I mean, there was a committee that uh, was formed to you know, look at electronic vote, voting and to think about days, you know, and stuff. Mm -hmm. so. Uh, we can look at that, but yeah, I mean, for, 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 the, for the few, for the few numbers where we had to hold up the, the pink slips, an investment yeah. of 20 grand no, seems to I be a bit. Yeah, it is, I've looked into it, and I've looked into renting it, and the problem with renting them is everybody has their town meetings this time of year, yeah. Yeah. and buying them is outrageous. Yeah, it's, and then they it's become like obsolete, grand so. or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For, yeah it's, for I'd love to have it. Year. I know, I'd love to have it. Yeah, I think there's a great idea. The towns that do it? Say it's great. And the towns that do it, if you, they're pretty wealthy towns. Yeah. They can afford to do it. <laughs> but you know what, also, th there's no shame. I mean, I, I, I in, in past meetings where people declared they wanted a se secret ballot, mm -hmm. you know, they, they either want to be for or against something, but they're not willing to re really show people that they're for or against. And I think holding up the, the pink slip is really representative of a town government so yeah. you know you have a position people know where you stand i think these that's are your these are our neighbors exactly these are who we live with we're a small town and yeah exactly so i i'd have to mention that last year we had just as many articles in the meeting went twice it went half the time yeah yeah we'll so see the things you, you never know how long exactly you know, I, I think you know you make maybe making sure people stick to their five minutes of presentation, whatever the time is, and two minutes of comments. To be perfectly honest, you you never know. I've been amazed that there are some articles where there's oh there's going to be an hour of discussion and it's just done. I know. And then there are articles where I think it's a no brainer and we have forty five minutes of discussion. It's like dogs. You know, it's like. But there were long presentations and there were long. The presentation comment or an answer to yeah, all this. Yeah, yeah, we're excruciating yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. to sit through. Way too, yep. Yeah. Um, <coughs> I include. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just think people want to see article, yeah. couple bullets, boom. Yeah. Yes, Jeff. I would just say I I agree with all the things you guys have said. I don't know if you've checked out the Bolton community website on Facebook, yeah. but there are a lot of people discussing what can we do so more new people can come in and I think all the things we've talked about are good. I know I was a little disappointed when I sat up there at the front and it's the usual suspects. You know, I could I knew by name just about it felt like I knew everybody who was there. And I know there are a lot of new people in town who don't understand how our town government works. So anything we can do mm -hmm start publicizing it early or like putting all that it's a question of communicating no i'm hoping i'm yeah. hoping that what we do with the webpage will make quite yeah. a difference I, I, I will say though that 
I went to my first town meeting when I turned 18. And I haven't been 18 in a long time. And at my own town meeting, you see the usual suspects every year. Un unfortunately, there, there's a tendency there. And you know, I, you know, I'm not gonna say how old I am, but I haven't been 18 in 41 years. And, That's a good way to do it. <laughs> and um, I, I could name for you 80% of the people that are going to be at my town meeting next month when I go next month. But, um, I, you know, I would add to that. The, the way you get people to get involved is you get them to join a board mm -hmm. yes. or, or an advisory group or whatever, you know. Because mm -hmm. when new people come to town, and, uh, you know, we all were new people at one point, right? Unless we grew up here, like Dave the other way. Um, we, uh, <laughs> you know... We say, how can we get involved? And when you join a board, then then the board, your group maybe brings something before a town meeting, and you feel empowered to get get involved. With. So I, that that's I one way. An, you're exactly right. I, I received an email earlier this week from someone who had been on a on a on a town committee and resigned um, because their charter was over. Basically, he felt that the charter was over. Mm -hmm. And a, I thanked him so much for his service. But b, I said, please, you know. When you see an opening, if you have an interest, please reach out. You know, please let us know. Please think about participating in some other way because we need we need people to do that. You know, a town, you know, a town, especially a town the size of Bolton, you know, we need volunteers. You know, we, we yeah, absolutely. We Always. can't be successful without volunteers, and we have a lot of committed people here. But you also need to replenish the yeah. the pool, so it's not the same people having to do things all the time. And and it's good to get new people involved. So I think. Uh, no, I, I think I think we try to do we, we do what we can. We can put it in the census and everything else. I mean, you know, when I ran the last time, I I went to the Easter egg hunt uh, at the at Florence Sawyer, you know, and we were standing around, and, you know, shaking hands and kissing babies and all that good stuff. And um, you know, they asked us to you know to form a human bridge before the kids would run and get the eggs. And I'm standing next to somebody, so I introduced myself, and the, the, the gentleman had lived in town for ten years. New apps. I mean, at no fault. They're they're busy with their families and their job. They had right. Right, no clue about what was going on in town. Didn't know who I was. Didn't know who the other selectmen were. And well, what are the issues in town, Stan? And, you know, I mean, they're 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 busy with their kids. They're busy sure. with their jobs. They're busy mm -hmm. with stuff. And you know, we we. We we are doing what I think what we can do. We can try a little bit harder, but I think you're gonna you're gonna have a significant body of individuals who who come and live in this town because of the what they get the quality of life and the schools and all that good stuff that everybody says, and they're just not gonna get involved. <coughs> you know, I mean, I I know I know people who, you know, lack of a better term, bitch and complain all the time, but I never see them show up at any of these meetings, and you know this. <laughs> you you, 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 you plead in your bag and you say, "Come on down and get involved." And mm, mm, mm. So it is what it is. But you know, we'll we'll keep trying, Joe. We will keep trying. I, uh, so I'm doing. Now, I I want to take a little bit different point of view of this because I think there's a lot of volunteerism in Boston, in Bolton, um, the, the little leagues, the football, uh, the Scouts, Girl Scouts, uh, the church organizations, stuff like that. And the, the issue is, is more one of town government tends to be a silo, standing alone from all the others. Whereas it really should be the place where, uh, through various means, um, those, those different groups meet and exchange ideas in an informal area. I mean, part of the problem is uh, um, there's, there's no... I don't want to say this. I guess all, all, all the interesting adult activities except uh, politics are, are kind of banned by our bylaws. And so there's no just purely enjoyable way for people to get together and, and do things that, that don't have a lot of pressure. Joining a, a town committee is a big commitment. And we really need to find a way to reach out to other people. And I, I wish I had suggestions for it right here but to take advantage of, of the groups that already exist and who are, um, you know, who, who, who are already in town as, as opposed to feeling that we're the only game in town. That's, that's the problem with what I'm hearing in the room tonight. We're not the only game in town. There's lots of other stuff going on and we should be uh, cognizant of that 
to try and find ways to, to uh, work with them. Um, I mean, maybe Parks and Recs is, is one way or something like that. I don't know. But I, I, I'm, <clears throat> I've been hearing for a long time as, as a volunteer in town about how we got to get people involved in town government. And there are a lot of people involved in town. I think we're being parochial by saying that this is the only important thing that, that they can do. I don't think that's what we're saying at all. Getting people involved in anything, any aspect of the town. I don't. I don't think. I don't think anyone is saying that we're the only game in town. And I. I take. I take exception with your comment. All right. Um, you know, we have. We have trouble filling any and all kinds of slots, uh, all over the place. So I think. I think it's an issue of. 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 You know, people have their lives. Pe people are busy. Um, you know. We, we we go to select we're selectmen. We go to advisory committee meetings. We have we have we go to other meetings. I mean, you know, we're doing a lot of stuff as well. So I, I think it's I think it's just a matter of people. You know, this is a busy time in everybody's lives, and it, 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 everything is hectic. So you know, I I agree with you completely, Bob, and I, and I agree with you too, Sam. I think we all do feel that way. That that and you're right. Town government is silo, but. All those other groups are people who are involved in the town and, right. and critical to, right. you know, the culture and the big yeah. picture of our town. And and you know, it, I, ironically, if you think of like town meeting, for example, you mentioned football. When the turf field came up, we had 200 football parents at town meeting. Mm -hmm. Right. And when the fire department comes up, we have a lot of fire department families and people right. at town meeting. So, I would say that's good. That's right. that's an extension of. People who are involved that have maybe a, a focus that's their interest, that that's the thing they're going to get really interested in. But it is a way to try and get them in and draw them into the process and get them to hmm. at least see how the process works. I agree with it. People are also a lot busier now than they were even 20 years ago in terms of, of oh, yeah. finding the time to vote to this. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I think we've talked this one. <laughs> wow. What are we doing? Yeah, nice. we got a list. Yeah, we got a list. Good job, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Good job, everyone. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. See you maybe in uh, November. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be there. <laughs> if you need me, I'll be there. All right. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> thanks. Thanks, Dave. Next up, a request from Jane, uh, food owner of uh, the Country Cupboard, uh, for approval to place a temporary to place temporary signs at the Country Cupboard, 476 Main Street, for the grand opening, and for approval to place the signs at the exit ramps of Route 495. Good evening, everyone. How are you? Good, 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 good. good. I'm Jane Hood. My son Tim. Tim. Hi. Um. Yes. Next weekend, we're finally having a reopening experience at the cupboard mm -hmm. uh, and Dunkin Donuts is introducing themselves as being right. here in town okay. um, so we want to put draw some attention uh, we've been closed for six weeks we still haven't got everybody back we have a lot of people back and we have a lot of new people but there's still a lot of people that don't come in every day that say I didn't know Dunkin Donuts was here mm -hmm. or you know things yeah. like that yeah. so we need to do something to draw attention sure. so we wanted to put some flags. Um, Duncan, Duncan couldn't be here tonight, the people from Duncan, otherwise they would have showed you. But um, these kind of flags, you know. Oh, that, right, right, right. They right. just advertise the name. Yeah, mm -hmm. very similar to some of the, uh, the real estate signs. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, okay. that type of thing. So you want to put that like in front of the. Yeah, yeah. in front of like where the trees are. Mm -hmm. We'll just put some. No, not blocking in and out or of right, right, and right. stuff like that. And there may be some, um, you know, a couple of low ones that just say subway on it too. Mm -hmm. um, Those should go under. Yeah, yeah. They're low. <laughs> 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 so oh, did any, you want to <laughs> anyways, um, that's what we're asking for, and we'd like to keep them up for as long as you let them and stay up. So it says thirty days. Well. We, know that we were asking for a lot at 30 days, but that's what I thought temporary signs were, 30 days, so. That's fine. It's, uh, so these would go up in front and want them up for about, about 30 days or so. Yeah. 
I don't have a problem with that. I think it's, you know, it's important to promote business. And, um, you know, I don't think they're going to, they, you'll, you'll set them further enough back so it's not going to deal with any line of sight. So, right, right. Because okay. that would be an issue for us too. Yeah. 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 No, I mean, I, I'm fine with that. I don't have a problem with it. And then what are the other signs? The other signs are at the exits. And the they are there already, those signs right. at the exit. Mm -hmm. And we were just wondering if we could put a directional subway in Dr. Donut. Country government. And country government. Do we have room? Well, there's a pole right here. It looked like it had something on it, it's not one. I know but it's smaller. So it doesn't have it right. anymore. So, I so would there be one sign or three signs? Well, it would be three three signs, or, or we could make one, you know, sign that says them all. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't really matter. So it would say Subway and Dunkin' Donut and Country, country Cover. Cover. Yeah, we'd say Country Cover Convenience, Dunkin' Donut Subway mm -hmm. with an arrow. And how tall would the sign be? For so that one, just the small. ones off the exit. That, that same size is that? Yeah, okay. same size. Okay. Looks like okay. 18 by 24 or something. Yeah, right. yeah I don't even think it's that big. I think it's 12 by 18 and, and at most. And there's a set that's, uh, this is coming off uh, southbound, and there's also so one southbound. On the other, other side, side is the yeah, western sign, right? Eric? Yeah, so I was going to say, um, I mean, the intent was to have a welcome bulletin sign at both, both right. There, there's not one here, but... We pretty much decluttered the other one mm -hmm. by having this, this standard set sign. I know Country Cupboard has a slot. Um, we've been contemplating because you put another row or not, and people, because a lot of people want to get on that sign, you know. And, mm -hmm. But the intent was not to add a bunch more signs where that welcome to Bolton sign was. We want to have a landscape and stuff yeah, like that. Not a good place. This, uh, but I mean, this one, this, you know, the one that there's no, I mean, it's already. Full of signs, so I guess you know, do with it what you will. But, but are, are there? I, I can't remember because obviously, you know, I've only lived here for almost 30 years. <laughs> uh, is, is there the equivalent on the when you come off on yes, the, there is. On the that's uh, another no, south 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 yeah, that's the north. north. I know that's the north. Yeah. There is. No, there's not the equivalent of that. No, there's, 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 there's one. There's, EBC sign. There's the, the, the welcome to Bolton sign with all the with all like the plaques now. Yeah, but yeah. There's, there's not a bunch of metal signs like that. Yeah, yeah. No, the metal signs were taken. I can remember yeah. that. There's, there's one for Oxbow, I think, or something, right? In mm -hmm. the south. I, uh, I yeah. can't remember, but this just might be a couple. The trouble with that wooden sign is that's a directory. It doesn't yeah. mm -hmm. direct people yeah. in any direction. You don't know where they are in town. Well, there is arrows, but they might be too small to see. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really look. I can't see an arrow. Yeah. Yeah. And besides, it's on a diagonal, so yeah. there's no way yeah. that you can point someone. Right. right. Um, well, so the intent of what we were doing was, what was there before was, um, it was kind of, you know, poles hanging to the side and signs hanging off on one screw. I mean, it looked pretty dilapidated coming into town. So it was, it was an effort to, like, you know, pretty, make it aesthetically pleasing as you come into town. Um, so, you know, that was just the intent of that, was to get rid no, of it. No, no, it looks sounds. much better. Yeah, no, it does. I'm, I'm okay with putting it on the, the, the northbound side. Yeah, right. I don't, I don't yeah. can't start another sign war. Yeah, right, the because, then, side. because then, I mean, I definitely want people to get there, I mean, but, you know, if you, you let theirs, and then Slater's is going to roll, and everybody's, right. then, all, then you're right back to what you were with all these signs right. that are kind of dangling mm -hmm. around. Mm -hmm. that one. Okay, but if you do any more of those, you have to remember that when people, people that don't know Bolton at all, they get off the exit. They don't know whether to go left or right. right. And at certain times of the day, you go the wrong way and you're stuck. You can't <laughs> turn around. <laughs> so, so elsewhere, I've seen that as you come off the ramp, there are signs that'll say gasoline or a restaurant of a particular kind. Those are state, yeah, those are state those highways. Those are state so highways. Yeah. Well, they're, they're the same size as these, but the state puts them in. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So you have to pay how, do you get, um, have to pay? how do you get that? You pay the That's state. a state thing. Because it does it still say Hebert's? I think it does. Yeah. Think it how does. old is that? I think it does. Hebert's mm -hmm. going I, I was talking about that with somebody the other day. Like, like if you does. could get that spot. You can actually, uh, to answer the question, you have to work through DOT. Right, that's yeah. a DOT thing. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. I mean, if, if there aren't these signs on the, yeah, the, the, the um, south, 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 
I mean, certainly I have no problem putting them here, and I actually wouldn't have a problem personally if you did three of them. Three different right. ones. Very kind of same size. I mean, it's the same size, but three of them. One for one for you, one for Subway. Because I think try, trying to put all three names you is not, not going to see anything. Yeah. Well, I, I think the big thing is Dunkin' Donuts and Subway. I mean, country cover it's doesn't really mean really sure. anything mm -hmm. to people outside of our area. Right. Um, I, I'd like to see one sign and not three. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather see one sign. So. I think uh, you're not gonna. If it's just like country covered small and then Duncan, and yeah, they're like brand name, people see that. Small two names and an arrow in the between the, the two of them to the left. I think that'll convey the message. Well, I I I would I'd be fine with with three signs if my colleagues only want one. Then probably it's. Well, the, the uh, problem I have with three signs is is if uh, someone else opens up uh, an adjunct uh, business that they have, then they're going to want to assign four. Okay, how about two signs? And we'll do Subway and Duncan because that is Combined. the national brand. I mean, then you could have, you know, then, see, there's Neshoba Valley Winery, but then they could have, like, J's and all of their like right. sub things, so I just think it's... If we only have country covered though, like you said, nobody knows that. Right. But, yeah. but we're, you know, we'd like people to know that we're there, and mm -hmm. we have beer and wine, stuff like that, yeah. you know, so... We were gonna put convenience. Yeah. Country covered convenience. No, I, well, I, I understand that, but, you know, people are gonna take the left because they see Dunkin' Donuts and because they take Subway. They're not gonna miss your building. <laughs> it's right there. Um, so I, I understand you want to get the publicity, but I, I've got the same concern uh, that, that Jonathan does, which is then people who have different things to, you know, the, the international could, could have four or five signs up there kind of thing. Um, I mean, if it's a temporary thing, you know, a 30-day yeah, thing. Yeah, 30-day um, different discussion. Yeah, those on temporary. Yeah, yeah, those ones. Mm. Just one, one more thing on the welcome to Bolton sign. Actually, in this location, um, the state wasn't even going to let us put up um, individual business signs because that's actually state-run land, and they want you to pay for other things. So even like you know these signs here, you know. They're illegal. They're pretty much illegal. <laughs> <laughs> so somebody just put in a metal post there and just started putting this yeah, out. Yeah, well, I mean, it, it, this, you know, I mean, we're not going to report to the state or anything, but yeah. the state could technically take them down. Mm -hmm. Believe me, the state knows yeah. they're there. I think they kind of look at them as pre-existing, non-conforming. <laughs> yeah. They don't want them populating. But but they wouldn't let us when but they wouldn't let us the welcome to Bolton sign. They wouldn't let us do the same thing on the north side as we did on the south side. I remember well. Yeah. They, would, they would have had to been in the ledge. No, no, ah. because they didn't want us advertising businesses. They wanted you to go pay this this okay. yeah. yeah. But because individual businesses were kinda of putting these up, we wouldn't be able to do that anyway, so we've kind of been hesitant to push to put that welcome to Bolton sign up. We'd have to take these down and not have anything up. Do you know what I mean? So Yeah. So just, you know, let them put whatever sign up on here and <laughs> keep the other side, you know, the way it is, I guess. Well, there's an interesting question. If those are T DOT signs, we don't have jurisdiction. <laughs> no, they're not. No, they're not DOT signs. Yeah, no, they're, right. yeah. uh, they're like right. blue ones or whatever. Yeah. Well, like I said, I, didn't have, I don't have any problem with all three, but I'm, I know I'm not going to win this vote. Um, so we're we're all good with the first one and uh, the second one. So it is yeah of twelve by eighteen. Yeah, I'd, I'd be in favor of one sign. One sign twelve by eighteen. Well, that's just what it says on here. But basically, well, the whatever, same whatever, size whatever as size the size others. That is. Whatever yeah. they add is, it looks like it's. Yeah, but I mean, you're one sign for all three businesses. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Well, by 18 isn't very big. I think these are bigger they, than they 12 must by be bigger than that. I was guessing. 18. I didn't want to get out of Yeah, no, they look like 18 by 20. Okay, so whatever eight. those are. Whatever those are, okay. we're I mean, fine with it. Okay. I think that's, yeah, pretty clear. 
you know, Duncan and Subway, you you know, right. are just so recognizable. You know, competing with these, you know, it's they're national brands, and uh, it's going to be hard to miss. Well, well, could you do a, a mock-up of what? an actual size mock-up of what it would look like if you had both logos. And so, because I'm not sure that, you know, having two logos on that size sign is going to really... Well, I think you... I think you got to decide. I think, I think, unfortunately, I think three, no one's going to be able to read anything. Yeah. I think if, if, if you, if my colleagues won't allow you to do more than one, then I would say you, your better bet is to just do Duncan and Subway. Right. If you, if, if you have to, if Correct. you have, if you have to, if you have to cut one out, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and then uh, you know perhaps we can revisit it at another time. But you know, um, I was quite frankly, I think if you try to squeeze all three logos, it's not yeah. great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, if you have three lines of text, if, if you want to. Do a mock-up and have us reconsider it. I, I'm I'm willing to do that, but I don't want to delay you doing anything because I want you to you know get your signs up as, as soon as you can for for your business. But well, this this you, you can do right away. That yeah, you can do right you away. You can do a, you still need to do a standalone vote on that until you haven't voted it yet. Yes, we have one vote on that. But but I mean you you have you have to create you, you have to go and have that right. that made. That right. Right. You, you could go where and just. Just bring us back a piece of paper that's got it in color that's the exact size and say, okay, so we can, you know, you can hold it back there and like we're coming off the ramp and <laughs> see anything. You know, okay. maybe I can convince my colleagues. <laughs> so, uh, how about we take a motion to approve the temporary flag like signs uh, uh, that these folks would like for you know, 30 days? Uh, and then we'll we'll come back and. Well, do, do, do you do you want approval of a single sign and possibly come back and get approval for more signs later, or do you want to just hold off on the middle signs until you get a final decision? Approval of a single sign would be fine. Okay. 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 All right. Then then I'll take a motion that we that we approve the temporary signs for thirty days, the flag, and that we will. Uh, also approve uh, one one sign of whatever dimension that is, and we'll leave it up to the applicant to decide whether they want one, two, or three logos on that sign. Okay, uh, so moved. All those all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Okay. Thank, Thank you. Very you. Much. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, did you specify where that other the second one would be? Do you need to do that? No. Okay. No. Yeah. If no. That's the one at 495, though, right? Yes. Okay, thank you. I have introduced myself to Duncan, even though Duncan hasn't introduced himself to the Duncan. Yeah, so yeah. you want to tell us what type of free things Duncan will be giving away <laughs> <laughs> next month? Free advertising advice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm giving mugs. I know if you're the Pennsylvania Gardens, you're going to get mugs. Yeah. So not the ceramic mugs, but the plastic oh, mugs. The, the refill ones? Yeah, yeah the refill, refill ones. ones that get in those way. Um, and you're all invited. The chamber is coming to cut the ribbon this next Friday on the 18th at 11 o'clock. And you're oh, cool. all invited all right. oh, okay. to come. Right. 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 Yeah. Yeah. And um, right. yes, everybody is invited. Right. Um, right. Just, to, right. just to get you know, something going. Sure, sure. Somebody has free cookies. Yeah, there you go. Uh, you know. yeah. We'll do some discounts and stuff. Yeah, country cup, it'll some be... Okay. Wine specials. Yeah. yeah. Now you're talking. Yeah. I knew that would be. Now you're talking. Those are $10 yeah. to $50 worth of wine. That's right. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, we'll do, we'll do like what Novartis did with... Uh, oh, 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 no. Oh, yeah. 20, 20 bucks <laughs> under the limit. So we're not going to get approval. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. All right, next up is the town administrator report. Um, we have no new developments on Minuteman. Um, I just want to say parenthetically that we're getting a very good response uh, from the request for plans for the Portico project. We're really getting a good. very nice response on that. 
And I think this is as good a time as any to uh, point out to the selectmen that the next meeting date is not set. Um, we have we are scheduled through today. I, I recommend that this board schedule the next meeting, and then once the reorganization happens at the next meeting, then we lay out the calendar for the rest of the year. Um, and I recommend that you meet in two weeks from tonight, which is the 24th. Okay. May. Um, as opposed to next the least, next normally you're on a two week schedule and okay. unless there's a fifth Thursday so I would suggest that they all right all right I'll take a motion to uh, um, set our next meeting for Thursday May 24th so moved second all those in favor signal have saying aye uh, aye okay. right. thank you all right, uh, next up is Board of Selectmen business. Uh, we, we always have a sort of a standing public service announcements. Uh, I don't have anything this evening. I think once we have the uh, document up on the website concerning town meeting and that kind of stuff, we can sort of give a highlight mm -hmm. at that point, but let's just wait for that. So I don't have anything else, unless you gentlemen have anything. No. Okay. Uh, next up is a request from Tyrods to place signs at Route 495, Route 85, Route, and Route 110 for the annual reunion being held at the fairgrounds in Lancaster on uh, September 10th, 2018. Uh, I know this is something that uh, Tyrods does every year. Uh, they're very good about putting the signs up, and they're very good about putting, taking the signs down. Uh, and they've done this. They've done this for a bunch of years, so I'm I'm good with it. And, um, the letter says September, September 9th. 9th. Sorry, it is September 9th. Hold on. Uh, well, the agenda says it does, but the letter yeah. says the 9th. Um. Well, is it is the 9th a? Ninth is the Sunday, so it's not the tenth. Then it's the ninth. So yeah. okay. Alright, then I then it's the ninth. So the ninth. If uh, no one has a problem, I'll take a motion to approve uh, uh, for the signs to go up for the uh, reunion on September 9th. So moved. Second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Uh, review and vote on the right of first refusal for the affordable housing unit at 76 Bolton Woods Way. This is the fir a first for me. Maybe yeah. Doug should have stayed. This is um, when a when an affordable unit becomes available. Mm -hmm. um, it's pro forma that the uh, unit be offered to the town in case um, there is any interest on the part of, uh, of the town. We we never have any interest. We we'll never have up to this point. Uh, but still, the the select we need to vote to. Okay. Uh, state that they, that there is no interest. Right. But it'll be maintained as an affordable oh, yes. unit. Oh, yes. Right. Yeah. Whether we do or not. That's right. right. Yeah, we just we're just giving first right of refusal, okay. which we never so for, for right. possession then. Spread of refusal right. for possession. Okay. Yeah. So some towns do buy it? I guess. I'm I'm not familiar with any who do, but that's okay. a it's a DHCD requirement. Now, this is a decision the selectman can make or is the trust supposed to make? No, this is the selectman. Okay. So, uh, considering that we've never done this in the past and we are not kind of bolting this on the real estate business, I'll take a motion to uh, vote that we do not exercise our first right of refusal. So moved. Second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 And uh, do we need to do this for each property? Yes. yes. Okay, so we need to specify in the motion which property we're doing it for. At 76 Bolton yeah. Woods Way. Okay. Okay. And Stan, I do have a letter for that one that you need to sign. Okay. And um, next up is a um, uh, very similar review and vote on right of first refusal for the affordable housing unit at 34 Sunset Ridge Lane. So, so moved. Second. So we are exercising our. Um, We're declining. Declining. Right. right. Okay. We're declining. So, uh, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Okay. All right. 
Uh, next up is review and execute the memorandum of agreement <coughs> and away between the town of Bolton and local 1703 AFSCME Council 93 Bolton DPW. Uh, what you have to sign tonight and vote is identical to what I sent to you a couple of weeks ago with the exception of I added the signature lines. Okay. Okay. And it has already been signed by the union. Yep. So I move that we um, execute the memorandum of agreement between the town of Bolton and local 1703 uh, Council 93 Bolton DPW. Yes, second. Second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 There are three copies mm -hmm. for you to sign already. Right. Is there one of these that I have to sign for? There is not. Um, they said that you just needed to take a vote. We didn't need to do a letter, okay. so I will just notify them of the vote. All right. Go ahead. I can listen okay. to the right. at the same time. Uh, next up is to approve the bills and payroll, payroll warrants, the W1823 and W1823A, which we have before us. Take a motion to approve, and then we will sign those. So moved. Second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Okay. And next up, our minutes. You have regular session minutes of March 22nd and March 29th, and then executive session of March 22nd. Okay. So. I'm assuming we've all looked and um, yes. signed off on that. Uh -huh. So um, I'll take a motion to approve the regular minutes from our meeting on March 22nd, 2018, along with the executive session minutes for March 22nd, 2018, as well as the regular session minutes for our meeting on March 29th, 2018. So moved. Second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Okay. Aye. And while we're signing, uh, we'll be moving into executive session pursuant to Mass General Law Chapter 30A, Section 21A3 to discuss strategy with respect to collective bargaining for the police union. As the chair, that's me, finds that an open meeting may have a detrimental effect on the board's bargaining position. The board will not reconvene in the open session. And I have a motion to move into executive session. So, so moved. Second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Linda, aye. roll call. Zikanski. Aye. Keith. Aye. Wasaki. Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> now that you got a new habit, you can't break it. <laughs> I want you to know that I took them through the roll call just fine. And I saw your, it actually you, when you I did, did it minutes for you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Well. Have a nice evening. <clears throat> yeah, that was Don's. <clears throat>